Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another tutorial using products from your Creative Studio February 2023 box which was the flower themed, vintage flower themed I believe. Um, I will be sure to link it. Um, I will link the um, your Creative Studio information in the description box. Any other supplies that I'm using will be linked over on my blog. A link to the blog can be found in the description box. The reason why I do that is because for one thing social media does not allow me to um, to put all of my descriptions my my links in the on social media the it, there's a maximum so that's why I do that plus I get a, ch a chance to show more close-up photos over on the blog so it's just one click away and you can check out the full supply list as well as close-up photos it's also where I do my Sunday's Art of Truth which I haven't done in a while but um, I'm gonna return to it <laughs> still lots going on so let's get going so we're gonna be using again these tea bags um, I got them from Amazon I believe the flower stickers are from your creative studio I've got my eyelet setter I've got my tools we're gonna do a little bit of fiddly work which I've mentioned before I don't I don't do well on camera but we're gonna we're gonna give it a try so I'm just moving some things out of my way this is my prototype so I just did a basic uh, let me pull this out so I put a piece of parchment on the inside so that when I started gluing things on I didn't risk anything getting stuck um, so that it will still open beautifully. So that's um, the workaround there. Um, and what I'm doing and what I did is I created a little dangle um, and I used an eye pin. And so that's what we're gonna do together here today. And we put an eyelet in the corner, it's very strong. And then we just layered up some papers just like I do in my normal clusters. And then we're just really showing off that sticker. Is that beautiful or what? Uh, purple is not my favorite color. It's not what I gravitate towards, but it's perfect for the fairy journal. I said I was done making ephemera for the fairy journal, but the person who is purchasing the journal, I'm going to put as much in the journal as I can, but she would like to purchase all of the ephemera that is left over. So I'm happy to oblige. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. And um, the scraps are just from pieces of stuff in my in my scrap bin. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this one here. And I've got um, I'm going to go ahead and reuse this piece of parchment and stick it on the inside. So um, true to most of my work with clusters, I like to have some kind of textile stuff. This is some handmade paper. I believe this is actually from. Oh, what's that place called? The one that sells all the sticker rub-ons and stuff. I can't think of it off the top of my Taperology. Sorry. I believe that's from Taperology. And I've got just a scrap from my bin of some um, uh, book page. Um, again, that's from Your Creative Studio. Um, this is from Your Creative Studio. I don't remember if this is from the February box or if it's an older box, but we're going to use that as well. I've got a scrap from the kit. This is from the um, either the Fairy Magic kit from My Porch Prince or the Fairy Tea Party kit. And then we've got our handmade paper. So I'm going to do a little bit of inking here first, then we're going to stick this in and get going. I'm going to see how well these ink up. Just a little bit of grunge. We're just going to do two on camera just to save time. Off camera I will cur create a journal card or something to go inside. So let me go ahead and stick our paper in. This is just parchment paper that you get in the baking section, you know, like where the foil is and stuff. It's really nice for this kind of thing. It also is really helpful if you're working in a journal and you're doing a bunch of gluing and you want, you've got something that you need to flip over, you can put parchment there and then any glue that's seeping out, any residue is not gonna get on anything else. So it's a great, um, great, that's a great use for it. So I think we're going to go ahead and put our eyelet into, I'm going to move that up first, um, just so that we don't uh, have any trouble getting to it uh, when we're ready. So here is my eyelet, my eyelet setter. I'm using the smaller one. I believe it's the one eighth inch um, size. So let's just go ahead and punch a hole here in the corner. And again, it's very durable. I tested it on the sample and it's perfect. Um, because it's kind of a, of a fabric-y kind of thing, you do kind of have to clip off sometimes that bit from the middle. And let's go ahead and get our eyelet in here as well. There we go. 
I'm a little shaky this morning. I'm having some issues with my heart rate right now. Um, and I believe it's connected to the hyperparathyroidism, which I'm still waiting for a surgery date. So frustrating. Um, I think we're going to do the work with the beads too. I apologize for being a little bit um, wonky on my order of things. But basically is all I did is I took an eye pin. You can get these at any uh, place that sells jewelry supplies. I think even at Walmart. And I've got these beads. I don't remember where these came from. They're just in my stash. So I'm trying to stick with kind of the more, more on the purple side of things. And the green is a perfect complement. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. Oh, I forgot to get my snippers out too. I need the, the snipper tool as well to just cut this down. I tend to leave way too much at the top. And you don't need that much. So I'm going to take it down to about there and just clip that away from myself so I can scoop that into the trash can when I clean up okay and then what I'm using I love the um, needle nose I don't probably am not going to be needing those and I'm just going to start here at the tip I want that to it to be kind of small so I'm just going to start I think I'm not starting far enough down though there we go and just like that and then you just continue to move it and curl it like so and that is fine with me it's a little bit bigger loop than I typically would like but um, it's it's perfect like it's there's nothing wrong with it at all so I'm not an expert at this thing so I need to curl that more in so it does not come undone uh, I don't do fiddly work on camera very well you guys partly that's because of my nails partly it's just really hard for me I don't do it well so hopefully that's going to be good enough. And I forgot to get jump rings too. Goodness gracious, my brain has fallen out again. I wonder if you can find it for me. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> so I'm going to use two of the larger kinds of bronzy colors. Whoops. Is that one? Oh, it hit the floor. Tinkle, tinkle. Okay. I'll just leave that there for the next one as well. So these are so, um, they're so pliable that I don't even have to use my tools. I can just open. You do always want to open and pull towards yourself or away from yourself, not opening it this way. So, and we're going to go ahead and put, let's go ahead and put this in here first. Maybe, maybe. I'm also um, pretty shaky. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with my heart. It's it's um, it's known to be a side effect of the parathyroid issue, and um, so I'm hoping I have a doctor's appointment today because I I want them to do some more blood work. I want to make sure that my calcium is not just shooting through the roof because that's what causes. I mean, that's the main side effect is elevated calcium, and it's not good for your body at all at all so I need this um, addressed um, it's very painful to deal with Kaiser on the phone I had I talked to three people and had to repeat the entire the entire story three times which is really frustrating <laughs> I mean I know they're trying to help but it's not a good system in my opinion because why aren't you taking notes and then the next person I talk to can look at the notes I'm not sure I'm not sure why <laughs> and getting try to get doctors to call you back is just ridiculous so there we go I am done uh, whining so there is our little cluster I should probably hold it up for you huh not a cluster our little dangle come on focus there we go so let's go ahead and get collaging here again super simple not complicated at all I'm going to start with my um, this paper and I'm going to use my Faber-Tac and I'm going to just try to put it on the solid parts of this because I don't really want it to be everywhere that it doesn't need to be. If that makes any sense. I will be doing another video very soon with the next installment of adding ephemera to the Fairy Magic Journal, the lap book one. So if you guys want to check back, that'll be happening very soon, hopefully this week. There we go. 
I love the little hairy bits hanging out. That's really cool. And then did I have this under, or how did I have that? I don't remember. Yeah, I think I had it like that. So let me ink up these bits just really quick. It's gonna be a short video. We're only gonna do two of these on camera. <clears throat> of course, you know, I mean, one could use actual tea, but use tea bags, but they're kind of small uh, for a little pocket. So I just chose to go ahead and purchase these for projects like this, where I want a little bit of a bigger pocket. And um, they can be, um, I probably would glue these onto the page. I wouldn't have them stuck in anything, I don't think, because, well, you can't, because we got a dangle on it now. So that's null and void. So I'm just gonna put some glue here. And then just get this off to the side here. Carpet tuck is usually not the best thing for vellum, but because that part's gonna be covered up, it's not, not a problem. And then this, so this is just, I wanted to bring in the purple from the kits that I used. I feel like once again, my camera is not, it's kind of wonky, there we go. <clears throat> and I will put in a little bit of that. I did want, where did I put that? I'm going to see if I can find the scraps here. I'm going to need another scrap for uh, to set my sentiment on. So there we go. Here's a piece. <clears throat> so, oh, you know what? That's backwards because I wanted the side that has the, more, the flower showing more uh, closer to the edge, oh, except then they're upside down. Goodness gracious, Kara Renee. Well, we'll just scooch it over. Where there's a will, there's a way. We're still going to be able to see it, so that's that was my main um, objective. I wanted to get this last video done. This is my third video for uh, your creative studio, and they already want to send me the next box, which I'm happy to do. Other ones like the Global Land and the um, the Craft Spire, I'm I'm on I'm a pausing on that because it's just. I can't I can't do so much like it's a lot to keep up with so I'm having to say no uh, I mean I will complete my commitment for um, for craft buyer I have one more video and then for global land I have two more so we'll, we'll do that they'll be simple fun projects so I've just uh, recognized that I think I've, I've overextended myself so I'm yakety yak and I can't get the sticker off goodness gracious okay the only thing I don't like about these is how wide that margin on the sticker is, but uh, for what we're using it for, it works out fine. I'm not worried about it at all, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Simple, easy-peasy way to do a little bit of decoration. So let's get a piece of this off of here so that we can put our sentiment on it. We'll just put it up here. Oh, I love that. Look at that. That's perfect. Love it, love it. I love this paper too. I don't order from Taperology very, I've only ordered from them once because it takes forever to get to the United States. Like forever. And uh, sometimes I'm not very patient. So, and then we've got a little sentiment. This is um, the same sentiments I used um, in the journal. So this one says, very journal. And we're gonna put that right there. Oh, I didn't ink it. Dog on it. Hold on. Hold on. Especially if there's white there. That's not good. We can fix it. There we go. Put that right back there. Awesome. So there is our first little tea bag cluster with a dangle. Perfecto. Okay, let's do the second one. So that is this one here. And so again, we're gonna start with our little dangle. I'm gonna grab a couple of um, things here. And so on this one, again, it's the same, uh, it's the same T pin, uh, eye pin, but I put this little, this is a Tim Holtz little diamond jewel thing, and I put a little jump ring on it and I clipped it onto the, onto the loop there. So that's 
working out just fine. And then I'm only going to put this one little jewel on the eye pin. I can find the hole. There we go. Just make this a little bit smaller. So same thing. I'm going to clip off a portion of this so that um, I don't have to wrap it too much. That I don't want it too long. So I'm going to clip that away from myself again. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and do our little loop-de-loop. Starting at the end. Goodness gracious. Get hold of it. There we go. So you just kind of twist it. You don't even have to remove the tool from the from the process here. So just kind of squeeze that. Whoops. Boy, that was it's gonna be fine. It's all gonna be fine. It's a little bit bent though, goodness gracious, Karen. -y. Again, not my area of expertise by far. And we're a little bit too, we need to loop that, we need to make that tighter. Okay. Okay, there we go. Perfecto. So, I mean, it's not, goodness gracious, what's going on with the loop? Let's try that again. I don't want um, it to be open, you know, because then you risk things falling off, which, I mean, I guess nothing would really fall off because everything's too big, but good practice would be to really crimp that down and make sure that you don't have a gap there. So let's go ahead and get our, um, boy, I cannot even find, my brain is just really struggling. I feel like my heart is working too hard. <clears throat> we go and we're going to go ahead and put this one on as well and then close this one up there we go and then we're going to pull that up and we, oh we didn't do our eyelet yet let's do that let's do that so this one I was going to have the strings go off the other side so I positioned that uh, per particular in that particular way so again we're going to do a small hole for our eyelet on this corner <clears throat> I'm going to set our eyelet whoops Maybe we'll set it. Can we get that too close to the edge? I don't know. Nope, it's there. It's there. I'm probably pushing the envelope there too for uh, the edge there, but we're going to make it work. There we go. Put that in there. Alrighty, so we can go ahead and get this on there. And we can do our little decorate and then we'll be done. Easy peasy. I need easy peasy right now. I'm bummed that I feel terrible and I'm, I'm in, this is the first full week of summer break and I'm just like dragging dragging like I'm in that space where I could sit in front of the TV all day and that's not me at all. So this is a piece of uh, mixed media paper that I did on some packaging paper which I absolutely love. So we're going to put that at the bottom here. Oops, we didn't put our parchment in there. We don't want anything sticking, guys, so. <clears throat> and my hands are even shaky. I'm not too, too concerned that that's buckling up a little bit. It's not going to affect what we're doing on the top, so. No worries there. Um, I think we're going to go as far over here to this edge as we can. 
and then we're going to put our I'm not going to ink this up I just want it to be what it is so we're going to cover this all with Fabri-Tac like so oh, it's so pretty isn't it okay and then I've got a little piece of paper from the kit again just a scrap it's got the purple flowers this is one of my favorite background papers in the kit so um, let's see how we want that yeah that's gonna be fine adding some layers here on these tea bags is a good idea because it's going to add some stability to the pocket that you're making using the um, the tea bag so that's why I am using some of the thicker paper even so I think that's okay let's just ink up this vintage paper oh and I forgot so every year in July I do a craft room tour so I thought I was maybe going to do that early but I'm not I'm going to I'm going to start preparing for that and I'm hope, hoping to get one of my grandkids to come and do it for me so that I don't have to hold my phone while I'm doing it because it's really hard in my space my space is very full I have fully maximized the the area so it's hard for me to like open drawers and stuff when I have the camera the phone in my hand so that is gorgeous Woohoo! okay <laughs> I am easily entertained so let's focus here Kara Renee and see if it doesn't take 10 minutes to get the backing off the sticker I almost got it again the nails just do not help and I know I can use tape but I'm I'm gonna persevere here ah, it's right there I can feel it try another side of course you know I'm on camera so it never works well when you're on camera okay I'm gonna grab the tape that's painful painful to watch <laughs> hopefully I have some tape in here there we go alrighty I think if I remember correctly I can take it off the front some stickers if you do this on the top of the sticker it will pull the the color off so let's see if that's the case here nope I think it was with some maybe some stickers that I got from Amazon so look at that beauty right there so gorgeous so gorgeous so now I've got a little piece of that same paper that the handmade paper on the bottom and a little sentiment that says flowers and then I'm leaving all these raggedy edges on that I just love it I love it so much so there we go I'm gonna put it right there I am gonna cut off that snip off that piece that's going into the flower there all right there we go and our sentiment so guys thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to see you in the next video take it check check out um, your creative studio I know it's a popular thing that we're seeing a lot of on um, YouTube um, I'm telling you guys you will not be sorry you will not be sorry the boxes are affordable they're full like and there's not just like one I there was probably easily 20 or 30 of these little stickers of a whole variety of flowers that were purple and then um, the other papers usually are four there's four of everything not not everything but most most of the time there's four of everything at least so um, it's very very worth the money because it's not just like a one and done you know you did one project and that's it so I will see you next time guys take care bye bye